To record unpaid time off for an employee, you'll first need a pay code called something like unpaid time off, and I've created that in our pay code section under a system and configuration and pay codes. If I go in there, we've got a pay code right here called unpaid time off. Once that's created, then I'd add it to my benefit codes table as a benefit code and I'm going to set the percentage at which we would pay out this code I'm going to set that percentage to zero because we don't want to pay anything for this particular benefit so we're going to pay out zero once we've defined it as a benefit code now we can enter it in the employees time card either directly in the time card by just going to the employee using that pay code in the pay code and then a work area and set those dates and times or you can also use plan time off if you'd like to enter it in the benefits tab for the employee I'm going to use the plan time off and I'm going to set the pay dates for this to September 26th the week of September 26th I want to pay eight hours per day so my times in and out will be 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. the benefit code is going to be unpaid time off and record that and now I'm going to copy day to fill out the rest of the week there so now I've got my Monday through Friday days set for that save that and when it comes time to post this into the employees time card simply use functions batch post time card and I'm going to use uh, the 30th of September as the employed as of date planned benefits is the type of uh, hours that I want to post and I want to post my unpaid time off It'll be that one right there and it's going to be for the week of September 26th through September 30th click next and I'll see the five dates here that I've entered in for my employee to post this time I simply select the days that I'd like to include in this case I'm going to select all of them and then click process and that time is now posted to the employees time card so we'll see the week before was a regular work week and the next week was unpaid time off if you go to issue a paycheck for this person using the payroll module and you bring in the times you'll see the import button will bring in one week of paid work at four hundred dollars another week of unpaid time off at zero uh, rate for either straight time or overtime so there are no dollars added in but the time off is recorded this way also you can uh, get a time card report by just going to the time card clicking on the report and the pay period and this will give you a report of the regular work time along with the unpaid time off and that's how to record unpaid time off for an employee